Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony and this is FPV Builds. So I've been flying FPV and drones since about 2015, 2016 period. I started out with DJI drones and then I got into FPV quadcopters. And then from there, I got into FPV fixed wing. And um, I get a lot of questions from people on how to transition into FPV fixed wing and what models they should start out with and stuff like that. So I want to just do a quick little video and give everybody my recommendations on how I would start out with FPV fixed wing and, and where to go from there. Okay, so this is a popular model here. This is the Atom RC Dolphin, right? You will see a lot of people buying these to get into FPV fixed wing. Great plane, great model. I wouldn't recommend this as a first plane for somebody for, for FPV. Um, while I don't really have a lot of bad things to say about this plane, it can be a little difficult to fly as your first FPV fixed wing. Wings in this style are also very popular. Um, you'll see these, uh, the AR wing from Sonic Model, the AR wing Pro. I also wouldn't recommend this as somebody's first FPV fixed wing. Okay, so if you're coming from something like this, an FPV quadcopter, and you're looking to get into FPV fixed wing, the first thing I would do is get into a plane like this. Uh, you don't have to get this plane specifically, although I will leave a link in the description to this plane. This is the FMS MOA. It's a glider, basically. Uh, glider, some people call them hotliners. So the reason you want to start out with something like this, um, something like this, a you could even go with a Cub type plane, like a Durafly Tundra or the um, the Carbon Cub from Horizon. You want to start out with something that has a high wing. Now, what do we mean about high wing? High wing refers to something that has a wing basically on the top of the body. Okay, these are usually typically easier to fly. Okay, um, I also don't recommend putting in a flight controller and doing autonomous flight modes in your first FPV fixed wing. The reason for that is when you're flying FPV wings or or RC airplanes in general, you want to learn how to get out of bad situations, right? And if you start out flying with a flight controller, you're kind of taking away that learning skill of how to get your plane out of bad situations, how to get your plane out of a bad dive, how to whatever the scenario may be. Okay, so I recommend just flying with a receiver that you can plug the servos into and just starting out from there. You're going to crash flying FPV fixed wing. I crash all the time. I've been doing it now for a whole bunch of years. So you're going to crash, okay? You want to get into it with a model that's cheap enough that if you crash, you're not going to be really upset about it. And you also want to get into something that has good flight characteristics, isn't hard to fly, um, you know, doesn't have any bad tendencies, and that's going to be something like this, something like a glider. Now, this is what I would recommend getting into. Now, once you get into FPV fixed wings, you want to do your research, right? You want to make sure that you have your CG set properly, right? Because that will give you a bad flight experience. You want to make sure all of your control surfaces are tight and, and properly bind. Um, you want to do a control surface test to make sure all of your control surfaces are going the proper way. So there, there's a lot that goes into it, but this is absolutely the kind of plan that I would start out with. Now, once you go from here and you, you get good at it and you're comfortable flying, then you can step into something like an Adam RC Dolphin or you can step into a Defiant or an AR Pro or, or something like that. Now, I've kind of transitioned over the years from flying regular FPV planes like these, and now I fly more non-traditional FPV planes, planes that are typically regular RC airplanes, and I put FPV setups on them. And as you can see, I have a whole bunch of them. And I got my OV-10 back there. So yeah, it gets addicting after a while once you start getting uh, good at it, flying 
FPV wings is a completely different feeling than flying FPV quadcopters. If you like just being up in the clouds and just cruising around and seeing the world, then FPV wings are going to be for you. If you like diving through trees and stuff like that, then FPV quadcopters are where you're going to want to stay. I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to be making a couple more training videos on FPV wings, um, doing control surfaces, tests, stuff like that. I hope you're subscribed and thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day.